how to cut a curve in Affinity Designer version 2 into multiple curves. You can use the knife tool. Go here, knife tool, select K. To get it, select K or just click it and now drag across the shape. Now you can also hold down the shift key and it will create a nice straight line. And you can repeat that multiple times. Again, just go over here and then drag across there, holding down the shift to create another straight line. Now you'll notice that you end up over here in the layers panel, you've got a curve that's not selected. Now you will not be able to cut that using the knife tool. Now you can press the V key, V, to get the move tool. So press V and then go Control A or Command A and then you can select all the curves again. Then again, K and you can repeat that. Just draw another straight line holding down the shift key and you can see all the curves are selected so you can repeat that again and again draw that and again you'll end up with a situation occasionally where the curves are not all selected. Again, press V and then Control A and they're all selected again. And again, you can use the K and the knife tool. And once you've done that, you've split your curve into multiple curves. And of course, you can move them. You can individually select them. So go here to the layers panel. With that one selected, what you can then do is you can go to the swatches panel. You can find that in the window menu. And you can say, oh, set it to red or green. All the others will remain untouched. Now what you can do, you can also go to select and then you can say select next. Now there is a shortcut, so you can see the shortcut there and you can use that. So select next and it will select the next curve or just use the layers panel and then you can change the color for that. And then you go exactly the same, select and select next or select previous if you want to go back. So select next and then change the color again. So go for green and you can repeat that across the entire design. So you can create a multiple colored shape very quickly using this approach. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.